Imagine the year is 1970. Every night after coming home from a long day of work, you like to have a cold glass of Coca-Cola with your dinner. That holiday season, you got a generous $500 bonus from work and decided to invest it all into your favorite soda company. Little did you know, that investment would eventually make you a millionaire. In this video, I'm going to explain why Coca-Cola stock provided such a great return, give real life examples of Coca-Cola millionaires, and project what you can expect for future returns. I like to teach the world to sing. Sing with me. My name is Zach and you should leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the video. Today, I want to explain how Coca-Cola stock made investors millionaires. The reason for me sharing this is to demonstrate the power of long-term dividend investing. When dividends are being reinvested over a long time horizon, it creates a powerful compounding effect. This is best practiced in companies with sustainable competitive advantages like Coca-Cola. Founded in 1892, the Coca-Cola company created one of the most iconic brands of all time. By 1919, Coca-Cola became a publicly traded company listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol KO. If you had purchased just one share of the stock at its IPO for $40 and reinvested all the dividends, it would now be worth over $10 million. However, you did not have to invest that early in order to see a significant return. Let's go back to our 1970 example I mentioned earlier. You invest your entire $500 bonus into Coca-Cola. By 2020, that investment would be worth over $1.3 million, which is an annual return of 16.68%. The website used for this calculation is linked in the description below. The total return is calculated under the assumption that dividends are being reinvested. The lion's share of this return is due to the principle of dividend reinvestment. The reasoning for this is you're buying more shares of the stock with your dividend, which increases your next dividend payout, increasing the amount of shares you can buy next, thus increasing your payouts even more, creating a snowball effect that compounds over time. On top of this, the dividend payout itself will increase over time as long as the company continues to grow its profits. For example, the Coca-Cola company has seen 58 years of consecutive dividend growth, so that theoretical 1970 investment could have turned you into a millionaire. However, there are countless examples of real people who had their lives changed by Coca-Cola stock. Perhaps the best example of this is the town of Quincy, Florida. The story starts in the Great Depression with a local banker named Mark Welch Monroe. He had the keen observation that no matter how impoverished the person or how dire their financial situation, they'd always spend their last nickel on a glass of Coca-Cola. This fact motivated him to buy shares as fast as he could. Whenever a person came to his bank for a loan, he'd encourage them to take out extra cash to buy shares. Over time, he had convinced many local farmers, grocers, and teachers to invest in the Coca-Cola company. Most importantly, he urged them to hold no matter what short-term market fluctuations occurred. The results were staggering. Eventually, Quincy became the richest town per capita across the entire United States. It's estimated that at least 67 of the town's original 4,000 population amassed grand fortunes, making them Coca-Cola millionaires. They created generational wealth that changed the course of their lives and their families. This prosperity had a spillover effect that helped the town as well. The dividends from the Coca Coca-Cola shares kept the local economy alive in times of need, ensuring Quincy survived the Great Depression and every recession since. For perspective, a single Coca-Cola share from Monroe's era with dividends reinvested is worth over $10 million and pays around $270,000 a year in dividends. Many of these people had bought far more than just one share. 100 shares with dividends reinvested would be worth over $1 billion. That's just incredible. Perhaps the most famous Coca-Cola investor is Warren Buffett. He was much later to the party than the town of Quincy, but that didn't stop him from seeing incredible returns. He started his position in 1988, purchasing 6.2% 6 of the company for $1 billion. He's added to it over the years, but chooses not to reinvest dividends. As being one of the greatest investors of all time, he can grow the money much faster picking stocks himself. In 2020, Buffett owns 9.3% of the company, worth nearly $22 billion. This year, that investment will pay more than $656 million in dividend income. With an initial cost basis of $3.24 per share, Buffett now boasts a 50.5% dividend yield on cost. This means that he is more than doubling his initial investment every two years through dividends alone. 
Buffett had stated that he will never sell a share of the Coca-Cola company. These investment examples demonstrate the power of investing in companies with strong competitive advantages and holding long term. But what kind of return can you expect from Coca-Cola today? To find out, let's create a model that projects future performance. For this model, I took the historical data of the stock and projected it forward over the next 35 years. So I used the compound annual growth rate of the dividend based on the last five years, which is 5.57%, and the compound annual growth rate of the stock price based on the last 10 years, which is conservatively around 5%, and projected these rates forward. This model is based on the assumption that the company will grow at a similar rate to recent history. Also, we need to plug in the current stock price and annual dividend payment. Now, let's look at how a one-time investment of $1,000 will perform over 35 years. In the end, we have a total value of $16,835 when reinvesting dividends and $5,662 when not reinvesting dividends. This is a massive difference of $11,172. It should be noted that although the total value is much lower, you would receive all the dividend payouts, which amounts to $3,012. So in totality, you earned $8,674 when you don't reinvest the dividends, which is still significantly lower than the nearly $17,000 you have in value if you reinvest the dividends. This demonstrates the powerful snowball effect of dividend reinvestment, which I mentioned earlier. After 35 years with reinvestment, you would receive an annual dividend of 54.64% your initial cost. So if you invest more money, your overall return will be larger, but the percentage return will remain the same. Let's say you want to do a more comprehensive strategy and dollar cost average into Coca-Cola, investing $100 every month. At the end of 35 years with reinvestment, you'd have a total value of $237,000 and an annual dividend of $7,696, which is an 18.41% yield on cost. This is all off of $41,800 total dollars invested. Once again, the percentage return will be the same when you increase the dollar amount. If you invest $500 every month, then the total value would be $1.18 million and you could become a Coca-Cola millionaire as well. It's important to mention that this is a projection based on prior performance and is obviously going to have a great deal of variation under real conditions. Coca-Cola will likely not provide the returns of decades past, but can provide you with reliable and growing cash flow. Plus, if the video game Fallout is any indication, then bottle caps could become the post-apocalyptic currency. If you want to learn more about the Coca-Cola company, I did a full stock review on it, which I will link in the description. That was only my fourth video on the channel when I had a whopping 20 subscribers, so bear with me for the quality. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you'd like to see an updated Coca-Cola stock review when they release their 2020 annual report. Thank you for watching Dividend Data. I'd greatly appreciate it if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you follow me on Twitter, link in the description, you can get real-time updates of my buys and dividends coming in. You can support the channel over on Patreon, and be a part of making these videos happen. The link is in the description. Please leave a comment below and thank you for watching. I like to teach the world to sing.